hello everyone and welcome to this new video in today's video I'm going to explain how to download time series sentinel 1 in SAR data and as you know this kind of data is very useful for monitoring the ground deformations and the structural subsidence or settlement during a long period of time by collecting a good number of images or data sets for the area of your interest across months or even years it depends on your project we can download this kind of data guys from this website that I will go through in details this is from NASA using this service earth data and before you start it would be very useful if you start with the registration so first you need to register using your email address and some information about you so that you can download this data and benefit from this website if you go to Google guys and then search for this website here this is the website search dot asf dot alaska dot edu and then you will go to the website so this is the main page of the website guys as you can see here so first you need to log in to the website I have registered and logged in using my username if you look here guys first you have to select what kind of search you will do we are going to use today the geographical search and then you have here a lot of data sets we are going to select sentinel one and here we have some filters that we can apply to our search to minimize the number of the results which is very important and then this is the search button and here we will have the number of the results for example you will have a number after you do your search for example you can get a number of 100 files or whatever so that means you have in this case 100 data sets for your search and of course all of this after selecting a specific like area you will pick your area of interest and then you are going to apply the search so now let's go to the website to see how we can download this data from A to Z first we will start from Google search I will search for the website this is my website as I mentioned search ASF Alaska Edio. click here so now this is the main page of the website as I have just mentioned guys here we have I will start from the top left as you can see here geographical search I will keep it as it is we will use the geographical search and then the data set we have different kinds of data sets guys as you can see here a lot of data sets we are interested today in sentinel one so we will click here on sentinel one as you can see here guys we have data available since 2014 until now I will click here now we have our data set is set to be sentinel one okay now I will pick my study area my area of interest as I have just mentioned guys this could be used for monitoring the structural subsidence for example I would like to monitor if there is any subsidence we have a dam here guys I aim to see if there is any settlement or subsidence in this dam across the years so now I will select this area and keep an eye guys when I select my area on the number of the files here it would be changed based on my area of interest so now I will pick here I will draw a rectangle for example just one click here and then one click here and that's it I selected my area of interest if you have selected the wrong area of interest you can easily go here guys and then you can clear your selection from here under area of interest just clear the area I will clear it now 
look at the number of the files here I will pick it again now if you look here guys under search we have about 1800 files sentinel 1 files for this area okay this is a very big number so because of that I'm going to apply some filters if you go here to filter and this is very useful in this case for sentinel 1 data so here guys I will start with the date filters I will apply some dates for example I'm interested in monitoring this dam during the period from let's say 2018 or 17 February the 1st until go to the end date let's say 2019 February the 1st across two years I would like to see if there is any settlement in this dam now here additional filters file type I will open this as you can see here a lot a lot of file types but for monitoring structures or deformations using time series technique we are going to select this option L1 single look complex SLC it is very important now guys to mention that to deal with this kind of data you need to have a very good background about radar data and INSAR data and differential INSAR data what is the difference between SLC here okay and different kinds of available data and for example what is the raw data L0 you need to have a very good background about your data before you would be able to use them I would advise that you have a good read if you don't have uh, any previous information about this data so let's go ahead now we have selected this I'm interested in SLC images now they are asking here what kind of beam I'll select this one for example and again to understand these things you need to read about them polarization I will pick this one and then direction I will pick ascending for example and then we have SA and SB we have Sentinel A and Sentinel B if you would like to collect both of them that's fine if you are interested in one of them you can pick it it depends on your aim and your project okay that's enough I will just search now now we have 60 files to fit our criteria of filters now I will let this down so this is my area of interest guys it is very small area just the damn body I will zoom out to let you see the data that we have here we have guys 60 files okay these are all here above each other so to see them I will just expand here if you go down here guys expand this okay or even you can have both of them in front of you so if you look here guys to the left for example this image this is the first image that we have guys this is taken in January 2019 and then January 16 2019 and then November 18 and so on until you reach the start point which is February as you can see here in the bottom February 17 so we have in this case guys 60 images that we can use to monitor the dam subsidence in our case in our example and each one you need to download it from here now for example for this one I will pick this one and this is very kind of heavy data guys you need a very good space or external hard even if your hard disk is small so look each one of them is 4.4 gigabyte and also after you download this kind of data you need to extract them and this size might be more than that of course so you need a good size of hard disk so and then once you are happy this is the first image for example I would like to download this I will go here and then click download file from here 
and then my file would be downloaded they are asking here again about the login information I will confirm that I have my login information ready with me because of that I mentioned it's very important to start with logging my file started to be downloaded here guys it will take some time uh, as you can see here it will take like half an hour in my case and of course it depends on the speed of your internet connection so imagine that you are uh, processing 40 images each one of them 4 gigabytes this is very heavy work because of that mostly we will not deal with the whole image as you can see this is a very big image guys this one is very big image look at the frame in red for example and even in blue I'm interested just in this area here for example the dam itself and some area around it so I can just cut out my small area okay and then to process the data you need first to cut out your specific area from this big size image then you will have some image in megabytes that would be very easy to deal with to process using different kinds of software now after you download the first image you will go to the second one to look at the information related to it here you have you will have a detailed information guide this image it's been taken as you can see the date and time the beam mode and then flight direction ascending in this case if you'd like them to be descending you can select something different polarization vertical or horizontal etc and here you can download if you are happy with the information with the date if they are suitable for your work just go ahead and download from here and then you will go to the third one and so on to pick all of the data that is suitable for your aim or your project and then you are going to cut out your area and then to start processing the time series data using a specialized software you cannot deal with this kind of data with any kind of software you need a very specialized software to be able to process them after you download all the data that you need and then you need to extract each folder then you will have something like that now I have downloaded this data previously in fact this is a project that I'm working on for a long period of time so for example each one of these folders guys is a data set I will open one for you just to see what kind of things that you will find inside so if you look here this is the folder name the original folder name dot safe of course to understand this name you can just read about the naming for Sentinel-1 data so this is S1 Sentinel-1 a IW SLC image and then you will have the date and time of taking the image etc so let's open this you will find inside each folder this kind of folders and files the main file guys is this one the main file is this one which is called manifest.safe this is the main file of this kind of data okay now after you learned how to download your NSAR data guys you need to use a specialized software to process them there are different kinds of software available to process radar data especially this kind of time series radar data most of them are not free so you need to pay for them for example we have Sarscape by Envy and we have like snap this is available for free by European Space Agency you can download this for free and use it and we have different kinds of other software available for processing this kind of data I hope this video was useful to all of you guys thank you very much for listening and I will see you soon bye now